custom FIFA 22 tactics set, this time for the Italian champions, AC Milan. Yeah! Okay, so as you can see, we're into it now. I've changed the formation to probably my personal all-time FIFA favorite, 4-1-2-1-2. I love you. I've tried a few different other ones. I tried a 4-3-3. I tried a 4-4-1-1. I tried a 4 4 2. This, yeah, this um, felt a little bit clunky. Then I went to the 4 1 2 1 2. And it was so awesome. Like a lot more space. There, There's not a lot of superstars per se. I mean, Ibrahimovic, Lau, and Kessia are all great players. Tanali's a great defender. Tamore is a great um, centre back. Hernandez is a great left back. Keeper. Never heard of before. Magda, never seen him. All I knew was Donovan used to be the keeper, but he's he done a good job too. But so the spine's quite strong, but they're very defensive. So I had to mix up a few things here. So I replaced Giroud with Ibrahimovic because Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic, and you go play Ibrahimovic wherever you can because he's a freak. Uh, they are back up top, so he comes in for the second striker because he's fast, and that helps with Ibrahimovic who's. Slow, <laughs> so that really does help play off. And Kessie's an amazing passer, he really gets him well. 74 is shit, shit. Um, his rating, but he's better than that. But he's a good defender as well, so he holds win back ball. Brahim, who usually would play in that position of our wide, and this is where they really lack. They don't really have any good, real good wide players. Uh, Rebic is good, um, but he is a little bit too attacking, so I had to go with this squad. Uh, formations is once I said four one two one two in the wide position because I like the width. Tactics. This is where I changed a lot of different things. So I changed it to press after possession loss because I were they were sitting at balance, and it just wasn't working. Like there was, was no pressure. And yes. The, uh, opponents, especially um, PSG, was running through me. I increased their width because they're very narrow, and I. Uh, increase their depth because they're extremely high, uh, extremely shallow. So I brought them up. I didn't mess too much here with build up play being fast and forward runs because that's my ideal way of playing. So I left that alone and it worked well in the 4 1 2 1 2. So that was a bit of a surprise, but I'm happy because obviously when you're playing a 4 1 2 1 2, there's a lot of um, bodies in around the top of the box. So fast forward runs don't usually work. Long ball's a bit better to play off and come wide and come back in. So I was happy with that. The width, see, they started at, I think it was a 55, and I went up to a 65. And I was like, that that felt a lot nicer. They had mad, like, their players in the box was up here. There was no one backing up. I got caught out the first couple of times. I'm like, oh, better take that back. Uh, corners and free kicks I didn't mess with. Rolls I didn't mess with. I'm pretty happy with all that. I don't really know the team well enough. I didn't go too crazy here. Uh, Madigan, I will... He was shocking for crosses, and he was shocking. Uh, and he shot him by Messi, but anyway. Uh, we'll start at the back. So Hernandez, all I did was add the overlap at the end here, guys, as I usually do, because I like an overlap. And he's got good support with Brahim there, so that's good. Tomori Kalalu didn't change a thing. Calabria, same thing. Overlap again, guys. Change that to the overlap, and that really helped out. Tenali, I did change, so... If he was on a balance, I went into man mark because I found that against the good attacking teams like Liverpool, PSG, Man City, the teams that most people will go against on seasons, he done a good job at just picking up that floater. That was coming. So I, I really rate that position for him. <clears throat> and then cover the wing and stick to position I left alone. Uh, Messias, uh, now this is another one I did change it to left and right players because they're not wingers, they're midfielders. I'll put them to come short. So the theory here is if I put them to come short, hopefully they don't overlap. You've got the overlap from Hernandez and Calabria. They can overlap over the midfielders as well. And Kessie's in that middle, and then you can go wide again and come back into a big header of Ibrahimovic. And that works really, really effectively. So the only thing I really changed there was him to come short. And then Brahim the same. Just come short. And that changed everything. Everything. Kessie, I didn't change a hell of a lot. Didn't change a hell of a lot. He's stuck into position. So he doesn't... He has a tendency, he's a bit of a defensive midfield to come back. Uh, 
and just talking to seats for your position, bang, found a lot more out and it was a lot easier to, to push forward from the left or the right into the middle again, which we all know I love to play like. Uh, Lau, Leo, I don't know what his name is, I call him Lau. Uh, he's a stay central, because he's a midfielder. Uh, sorry, he's a striker, but he's usually a winger. And he had a tendency to go try and get wide, so I had to put him on stay central, and Ibrahimovic was the same, stay central. The, the perfect part here is Ibrahimovic is huge, and he can win the ball, and Lau's quick. So it's a lot of like Ibrahimovic chest down over the top, bang. Lau's through, cross back to Ibrahimovic goal. That's how I played most of my games there. But as you can see, there's not a lot of change. To be fair, AC Milan, for the Italian champions they are, I didn't rate them too much in this game. I actually think they're quite quite slow and quite poor, to be honest. Um, and you can, I'll get a flame for that again, but I found Giroud, I don't know why they started with Ibrahimovic, never. Rebic was good when he came on. The rest, Benneker was good when he had to replace Tenali or injured. The rest, I think, will do a job, but then you look down to the bottom to their reserves, and it's just... See, Bakayoko, he's he's all right, but the rest didn't even go near. Simon Kai, I don't know why he's down there when you have a 78 rated, so I'm going to bring him in, Simon Kai, just for the fact that he's a good bloke for saving Christian Eriksen, but anyway, I'm going to leave him in there. I don't even know why Roma Gongali was on the bench. Something must be... Happening there, but that's how I line up as AC Milan guys. And I started off with about a 65% um, the win and draw rate, yeah, win and rate. and um, got it up to about 70, 75, 76. I did still struggle with AC Milan, they don't, they're not fast enough the way I like to play. But I think people that are used to their speed and used to their um, style of play will find that the move to the 4 1 2 1 2 and just changing a few of those tactics. In the, um, for the players will make a world of difference, okay? So good luck with it, guys. Hopefully you can get a bit more success than me. But um, yeah, I look forward to hearing your results. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Follow me on Twitter, underscore Big Boulder. TikTok, underscore Big Boulder Gaming. And we'll uh, hope, you just, hope you like this video enough to subscribe and like and share if you like. Thanks, guys.